much of the Central Committee of Communist East Germany's ruling party resigned. What remained of it was renamed the Party of Democratic Socialism, and Gregor Gysi became its leader. At the time, the head of government still came from the PDS party, and it believed it could hold on to power. And that was for me it was very important to me to ensure East Germany's internal stability through the continuation of the parliament, and that meant this party had to continue to exist, otherwise there could have been no coalition, because who am I if I no longer have a party? The new version of the old party was a master of survival, and choosing rhetorically gifted Gregor Gysi as party leader proved to be a shrewd move. He turned the former ruling party into a voice of opposition against what he portrayed as the West's hostile takeover of the East. The aim is to define the role of the opposition and make it attractive. It might be important to have more opposition in the German Bundestag. Over the following years, the PDS became the party of the East Germans. Many of its voters were those who'd been content under communism. The PDS made use of symbols from that period by laying wreaths at the memorials to Rosa Luxemburg and Karl Liebknecht. But the PDS had no future as a purely East German party. From 1998 on, it lost one election after another. It was divided into several factions that quarreled over the proper party line and the party's own history. It may sound absurd, but it was during those first years in the PDS that I developed a very critical stance toward what had been communist East Germany, because early on I came into contact with people who were thinking hard about the role they'd played there. And it was a painful process. The German government's welfare reforms in 2003 revived the PDS. Tens of thousands of people demonstrated against the cutbacks, and PDS politicians placed themselves at the forefront of the movement. The PDS and disappointed Social Democrats formed an election alliance that led to the emergence of a new party, Die Linke, or the Left. This day sends a clear signal. The Left has another chance. Since then, the Left Party has established itself throughout Germany, garnering 12% of the vote in last year's parliamentary elections. But the Left Party now has to decide whether it's happy to remain in opposition forever or if it wants a role in government. The transformation of the party that once governed communist East Germany is likely not over yet. <laughs>